All right, today we're going to have a look at Sarah Canning, who is Aunt Jenna in The Vampire Diaries. I'm going to start off looking at her jaw, which does appear to be quite strong to me. It does look like we've got a bit of a, a gaunter angle here. Could just be the lighting. This does look like it's been quite highly photoshopped in this shot. We do have one eye smaller than the other eye. Um, you know, the eyes are looking quite wide set, and following with that, the mouth is fairly wide as well. Shoulders not looking overly wide. Alright, it does look like we've got, um, a figure that looks pretty female. Um, shoulders seem to be about the same width as the hips. His knees are looking a bit, um, a bit gnarly to me. I don't think we've got a very pronounced Q angle. Skull looking pretty big. Pretty chiselled kind of appearance. Long forehead too. Um, I don't think you could fit quite three head widths on these shoulders. Well, that is a very fierce looking gaze. Under some very strange looking brow ridges. I don't know what's going on here. Maybe they attempted to make these a bit smaller and didn't do a very good job. That looks very odd to me. That's a big ear. That's a long neck. That is a skinny arm and it looks like we're having a male back behind there. Mm-hmm. Quite a gap between the nose and the mouth. I think we've got a softened up boy here. Yeah, look at those. Those are quite squared across looking shoulders with a strange looking slope. Very, very gangly looking arms. We've got the torso coming in here, but um, this curve doesn't look very female. Looks like one of the contrived MDF curves. Definitely got a brow ridge going on here. These large, uneven eyes. Wide, wide mouth. That gap is long. Yeah, this face looks very male. This skull looks very male. I would say you can fit. You probably could fit three. Depending on the angle of the picture, they look wider sometimes. Putting her next to Nina Dubrev, she looks pretty male. You can see the brow ridge again. Yeah, it's quite feminized, but still looking male to me. Skill much bigger than hers, but I think this one's actually shorter than hers. Um, you know, I don't think this is a very notable curve, and the legs have pretty much no female shape to them whatsoever. Hips looking quite narrow. You know, you'd have more of a dimension coming out on both sides if uh, she's turning to that angle, I think. Arms looking like they're quite long, but they're out from the body, so you can't really measure. It does look like we've got quite the pronounced trachea in here, under this vast jaw. And the feet, not enormous, but a bit big, I think. Yeah, pretty, um, pretty intense energy in the eyes. You know, take off the lipstick, and I think the part that fools you the most is that this nose is quite a soft-looking nose. Typically, men won't have such a kind of button nose kind of look. Um, but yeah, the long neck. Square shoulders, and all these facial traits, which, you know, I've mentioned in some nations of the world, they do have those kinds of traits a bit more often on women. But at the same time, this one just looks a bit off. And the hairline here, I think we may have a widow's peak. Seems pretty much every famous person seems to have a widow's peak. What's with that? 
Yeah, you know, a pretty small person overall. Mm, the torso is looking pretty small here. With some of the MTFs, they do seem to have a quite small size. Now, maybe she's a biological female, and I'm just not seeing it right. But I'm feeling from the energy and the overall look. Um, and in this shot, actually, the hips do look considerably narrower than the shoulders. We've got the hands in the hips pulling out the pockets to make it look like they go a bit wider, but the actual curve of the hips seems to be a little bit inward from there, and I do think the hip bone is not quite as uh, not quite as wide as the shoulder bone. Looking very abnormal here. A kind of bobble head on a long neck and a very skinny body. No real curve to the hips. Kind of jutting collarbones. Again, a thin person, but um, I think crotch level would be about here, which is wrist level, which is more common on males who have longer arms. Mm. Now the arm, the arm does curve out at the elbow in a way that usually only happens on women, so take that into account. Could just be the shoe choice, but these boots do seem quite large. Um, again, though, not much of a curve here. Maybe it's just because she's so skinny, but um, I do think I might be seeing an Adam's apple in there. And in there a little. Yeah, it's the long arms. Um, these hips look weird. There's something weird about these hips. Yeah, this is a... It's a strange figure, to be sure. Um, I don't think we really have much of a Q angle. She's really pushing the hip out as far as it'll go. And subsequently uh, pushing whatever's there out to the side, so it looks like we've got a bit of a wider hip, but um, yeah, I don't think this is particularly female. They can make the MTF skinny, and they can remove ribs, and they can wear, can wear corsets, so... Here with uh, someone, I have no idea who that is. This someone does have very straight looking male legs, whoever it is. Um, again, she doesn't really have much of a curve to the leg either, so pretty, pretty dang straight overall. Uh, yeah. Another picture showing that uh, there's not much of a curve from a couple of angles. There is definite, definite angles here, sharp jutting angles. Uh, uh, possibly a bit longer, ring finger than index. Classic model pose. Giraffe neck. Yeah, this forehead. Actually, she's looking a bit like um. If you just kind of. Double the eyebrows in size, looking a bit like Cara de Levine, so. Wide mouth. Chin. Coming across a bit small, but, um, you know, men can be small, men can be short. Especially if you choose someone from a bloodline that has more typically small people, and then specifically give them hormones or whatever kind of treatments they do to create these people. From a very young age, possibly, before they're even born, they might flood the womb with the wrong kind of hormones. Now here, there's quite a softness to the shape, but no softness whatsoever in the eyes. You know, that's the thing I go on mainly, but I, I could be wrong about it, but I only know what I feel. What I feel looking here at these eyes is not that it's a woman. Again, all the features we've mentioned before that seem male, and, um, this upper lip has a bit of an odd shape to me, you know, possibly done by a bit of injections? I don't know, it's just a bit unusual. 
some men do have um, full lips though, so could be that way. We do look like we have quite a gradual slope to the shoulder here. It's pretty convincing. That's a bit scary. Yeah, this is obviously a highly doctored photo as well. But, I mean, look at all these sharp angles, even kind of softened with the the Photoshop tools. So. The main thing is these eyes, they're just so intense. Even with a gentle smile on the face, these eyes. And there's just something wrong about this neck shape. Kind of pyramid looking neck shape. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Um she does have that pokey bit that I keep talking about as well. Pokey bit that we don't really see on women. Looking kinda of like Lindsay Lowen here. Um Yeah, pretty pretty convincing in this shot. Soft facial features. You know, but I'm still gonna say, based on the eye energy and the other features that are more masculine, I'm gonna say. I'm not convinced. So yeah, my summary of all of this would be, I do believe Sarah Canning is biologically male, transgendered to female, secretly. So that's that.